Well, it's an impact day with the potential there for heavy rainfall again tonight with very electrical thunderstorms and flash flooding will once again be a concern. I mean, after all, yesterday some areas had two to four inches plus of rain and the possibility is there for an isolated strong to severe storm with gusty winds being the primary threat. Let me show you this developing storm just west of downtown Greenville. In fact, we're hearing the thunder outside of our studios right now. Three lightning strikes reported just now on live Super Doppler 4 HD right along the Saluda right here along 25 and this is where most of the action has been across the upstate. There's Parker, there's Berea that's very near the hospitals and we'll watch it closely as more of these type cells could develop with this one. Now, most of the action has been confined to western North Carolina, which is where there's some strong storms in and around Henderson County going in and around the mountains of Laurel Park back through Hendersonville into Mills River now and then Asheville seeing some action between Weaverville and downtown and then pushing up through Yancey, Mitchell and Avery counties. Most of the action settling down toward the south into McDowell and Burke counties back toward the west into Cherry Cherokee, parts of Graham County seeing some heavy rainfall near Murphy. Now, as we look ahead, we're going to see this chance for some storms as we go into the overnight hours. And in fact, it could be 10, 11 o'clock before we see some storms in some areas. Latest computer model just came in moments ago, showing some of this activity starting to ramp up around 9, 10 o'clock. We'll be watching live Super Doppler 4 HD very closely. Could get these storms to last through around midnight, maybe even 2 a.m. Don't be surprised if you hear the rumble of thunder there, but things will simmer down as we go into tomorrow morning and the heat begins to build. Boy, it's a hot day in Spartanburg, 90 degrees, feels like 93. And as we go forward, the heat going to be more of a concern than our storm chances. In fact, the feels like temperature today already hot. We're going to build on this day by day, feeling like the 100s coming up Thursday and Friday especially. So tomorrow morning, waking up to around 70 degrees, hour by hour tomorrow, it's going to be sunny, it's going to be dry with very little to no chance for rain. High pressure over top, which leads to kind of a heat dome, sinking air across our atmosphere leads to those temperatures just skyrocketing. You'll even touch 90 degrees across the mountains tomorrow. 95 or so across the upstate. Your town may vary by a degree or two, but it's going to be hot, especially when you factor in that humidity. So I've issued an impact day, especially for Thursday and Friday. That's when I see the peak of the heat wave moving our way. Temperatures will soar to the upper 90s, and with humidity playing a role, it'll feel like well above 100 degrees. So our temperature trend here, Thursday and Friday, again being the peak, Wednesday not far behind it, but it's going to feel like the lower 100s, 102 to 104, depending on your town. And that's when it gets to be dangerous outside. So look after your pet, look after your neighbor, just like you would do in the middle of winter when it's uh, abnormally cold. So the latest computer model here shows the rain pushing south of us over the next several days. High pressure and control keeping us dry. Here comes a front knocking on the door by Friday night. That'll knock back temperatures a bit by the weekend. Not as hot Saturday and Sunday, still around 90, but enhanced thunderstorm chances, especially during the afternoon hours, but it looks like cooler air tries to knock on the door early next week with better rain chances coming along with it. So the four day looks like this 95 degrees tomorrow, 97 on Thursday and Friday issued impact days for that intense heat. An afternoon thunderstorm or two Saturday and Sunday, not quite as hot. And then we're taking the temperature back even more Monday and Tuesday with more clouds, better rain chances and an easterly wind. It'll feel a little bit better outside. Same story in Western North Carolina, lower 90s and some sunshine, better rain chances by Saturday.